the last time I made one of these videos, I titled them, Please Stop Sending Me Things. And in the video, I said, hey, I love all these big, fancy, awesome gifts y'all keep sending. And then I keep having to give away because I already have all of it. So how about we just, yeah, scale it back to some nice letters and fan mails, pictures of my face, that kind of stuff. Well, you guys decided to yeah, not listen and send just as much as normal. But also, this is literally the biggest thing I've ever been sent. Look at this thing. I sent Kim to the post office to pick it up for me because I didn't know that she wasn't even going to be able to carry it to the car. <sighs> I mean, okay, I, obviously I love it and I love you guys and I'm excited to once again open things. Please stop. Although I will say, since the last one of these videos, I have had more requests to do another one of these <laughs> than I've ever had. It's not you getting the stuff, it's me. Why do you like watching them so much? Thank you all so friggin' much. If you're new here, slap that like button and hit a flip on that subscribe button. Thanks to Kimberly Toon, the newest, hottest, freshest YouTuber to hit the scene for filming this intro. Now you can whack that camera up on there and we can get started. Before we begin, um, I do have some solemn, sad news. Reoccurring viewers of this YouTube station will know before I unbox any of these things in videos, I usually start by cracking open a fresh beverage and an energy drink of some variety. However, that will not be happening anymore. We got the G Fuel sponsorship, baby! Kim's looking at me like I'm crazy. It's an unboxing video, so I'm not gonna really get sponsored by this right now. It's an ongoing thing. If you want 30% off your G Fuel, which is a lot, by the way, you can use code beat em up to check out. But I'm not really doing the whole shebang right now. I just need energy. So I need something to help me get through it. And the energy that G Fuel provides me will get me through this video, as it can get you through day-to-day -day life, workouts, or what have you. Blood orange, the smoothest of the G Fuel flavors. <laughs> My arms are sweaty and the lights are heavy. All right, this one is from... Juan? Juan? No, that's wrong. <laughs> oh, well, there, there is that. We have Secure Game Case Zelda Edition and the Adventurer's Edition. Do I have the Adventurer's Edition of this? Is that just standard? I've never actually noticed those words above it. Yeez 8! One of my favorite Switch games. It might be a version I don't have. Well, I for sure didn't have these sweet collector's items. My name is... Wong. I live in Mount Pleasant, which is two hours east of Dallas. Mount Pleasant, that sounds like a nice place to live. Some would say Pleasant. I sent you some stuff since you love Zelda much like myself and thought it'd be a great addition to every growing collection. I bought two of these. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you so much. I love you and I appreciate you. Also, I don't need both of these and Kim, you don't have any of these. So which one do you want? There you go. That hit her in the face. What's in that? You gotta stick around to the end of the video to find out. Smash like. Leave a comment right now. You got time. <laughs> Reminded me of Bayonetta Box. I hope, I hope to sweet mother Mary that this is from Steven. So I actually reached out to Twitter a while back to figure out how I could get the Astral Chain Collector's Edition thingy majiggy from Japan because I legitimately saw a photo of it online but couldn't find where to buy it. So Steven found out how to do it and helped me actually buy one of these. All the notes said was this reminded me of the Bayonetta box, which is exactly the conversation that I had with Steven. So I'm really hoping that he forgot we said that already and added that. Otherwise, I might end up getting two of those in this video and I'm really hoping not. But thank you, Steven. How are, you, how are you guys doing up there? Doing good? Oh. I usually don't do this with an audience. I usually wait till Kim's not here to film these videos. In case I get all emotional, I don't want her seeing it. So I've got a brave man face on today. Oh no! Oh wait. Oh no, it's supposed to be dented. Well, for a second I thought maybe it was a troll gift and it was covered in poo. It might still be. <laughs> it's Blazing Chrome. It's a, a Switch game that released recently. I'm assuming that this is like promo material for it, and I'm not gonna find a poop inside. Oh! Oh, USB bullet. Oh, it comes with a little bit of Hubba Bubba. It's a bubble gum with a tattoo in it. Actually, that used to be my favorite candy when I was a kid, legit. I used to do the 10 cent little cranks that come out with a little gum that you chew and it tastes horrible, but you get a little tattoo and you slap it on your arm and you'd look cool for a day. Well, like half a day, you'd rub it off. <laughs> 
Soldier, you're about to enter the final fight of humanity. Well, I'm not prepared. So, once again, I actually had a, a video game company dev team send me a little gift, which the last video I did of these was like the first time that's happened. Now it's happening again. This is really cool. More Hubba Bubba. Kim. There you go. Oh! The t oh! <laughs> it says my name on the tag! That's really cool. It's personalized. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put this around my neck. Yeah, I don't know if um, Gravity Ghost Deluxe Edition is what's going to be in here, but I'm most certainly assuming so. And yes, it is. Look at that. We have Gravity Ghost Deluxe Edition on PlayStation 4. Looks like something Kim would really enjoy. Not saying I wouldn't, but immediately this screams Kim to me. What do we have here? <gasps> oh man, I want to get him out so bad. They gave us like little arts and craft things, like little potions. There's a little guy! inside. There's a baby one. Those would look really nice in like the backdrop of something or someone's set. Oh, and a lollipop. <gasps> you see that? It's like a two-toned lollipop. And then a book and some postcards and photos. And that one's really creepy, but cool at the same time. Thank you, Gravity Ghost. Appreciate you. Another USB. I'm going to be USBing all over the place after this video. Each card is an amiibo. Oh, what? <laughs> Okay, I know you guys can't see in this yet, but um, I can feel the weight to it These are amiibos. Wow, they've manually glued the pictures of every single wow So is this every amiibo? How many amiibos are there? This one even says what you get in Zelda when you use it. That is amazing <laughs> It's like that thing where you like want to see the picture of my loved ones these are all the things I care about in the world. Hi Wood, I'm Dakota and I've been enjoying all your videos for a few months now and have been subscribed for a little over a month. Took you two months to subscribe? I challenge you to one more full Breath of the Wild playthrough, exploiting these amiibo to get all the sets of armor. I really, really, really wanted to play through that game again and I want to do it before the new one comes out, but time, time, time. Thank you so much Dakota, those are amazing. You know, surprisingly, I don't have this yet. Drinking glass, journal, Triforce plush. I've been putting off getting this, so thank you so much. I love your channel, and I hope you and Kim and the kitties... I love you, Kim and the kitties. Oh! I hope you don't have this yet. Also, the Yoshi slippers are for Kim. Wait, what? I guess they came in another box. Uh, thank you so much, Sammy. I said in my last video to, like, move these things along. I probably won't open, um... Letters and I'll read them at my own time. I actually did that the other day I sat down at that table down there and I was reading all my letters. However, this one feels like it has something inside It's a little Lego me Wow, that's amazing. Oh, and it's a little paper me and it's Rocket League less cool because it's not me But still cool smash logo joy cons more Rocket League goodness collector's edition print started watching your videos before I had a switch from Jamie Thank you so much, Jamie. This is the coolest. It's me, it's Lego. Thank you so much. All right, this one's really thick. Oh my God. It's us. Oh my God. It's you and it's me. That's so nice. This is the second time I've sent you something. The first thing was the Smash Ultimate Notebook, which is right there. You think I'm lying. You seem to like the little link I drew on the note, so I thought I'd do something a little bit more ambitious than a doodle. Yes, that's Aussie slang. Yeah, you don't need to tell me what that's slang for. It took me four days to complete. My Twitter is at SebDoesArt, in case you or anyone watching would like to see more. That's amazing. This is a mess. Usually, I position this differently. If you're new around here, this isn't how I usually do things, okay? We have something for Kim. It's a Yoshi backpack. Go on, take your lunch to school, throw your pencils in there, do some penciling. <gasps> How's it change color? Oh, there's a light in the nub part. You know, I actually don't have this Wii U game. Oh, look, now you can keep the change in a Yoshi little thing and put it in your Yoshi bag. And then, look, a bunch of things from uh, Octopath Traveler. <clears throat> it's been so long since I played the game, I'm already forgetting names, but Ophelia? Uh Thank you so much! And a Yoshi egg! From Uma! The bag is for Kim. Thank you, Uma. You know what? To speed this along, I'm gonna do a twofer. This is how good I'm getting at unboxing things. <sighs> Giveaway time. <laughs> I got Kim making the same face as me. Hi, Wood. By the way, I'm not actually one of your Patreons, so that's why no one has told you who I am, because they also don't know who Cartroll is. 
The plot thickens! That's the first time I haven't been mad at a card troll gift because that actually does stir the pot. I naturally assumed it was a Patreon and everyone was either involved or someone was involved. So now I don't have any idea who Card Troll is. Thank you. I do have this though. Hi Wood, this is just a small token of my appreciation for everything you do, Jesse Dickens. I actually have an SD card in my Switch already. Kim doesn't. So you can either use this one or we can keep this one nice and sealed because it's Zelda and I'll give you another one. Either way, it's gonna come in handy. Thank you, Jesse. Oh man, I have this one too. I would enjoy or sell or give away your card troll. Card troll, I love you. Ooh, what is this? That wasn't a bad ooh. This was a surprised ooh. Speech breaker. It's like a game, like a, not a video game. Like a game that you play with people. Can two people play? Cause we don't have any friends. Four to 10, we can't play. It. Our neighbors liked us for a while. Now they don't, now they don't talk to us anymore. I would. <laughs> love the videos. I literally sat and watched them all. This game makes me laugh. Hopefully it will you too. Wouldn't try to film an episode talking into it. Wouldn't try to film. You wouldn't. I would. Hello, 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 hello? Hoi, shut the hell up! Thank you. Oh, it's a Zelda mug that like, when you pour in hot stuff, it, pictures come up on the things. That's really cool. I sincerely hope you don't have this already. Thank you, Amanda. I don't have this yet, and I'm definitely gonna drink out of that in the morning. This box was shipped perfectly. Thankfully, I don't think it matters because it's a stuffy. It's a crocheted little Deku. Oh, wow. That is literally the fanciest letter I've ever been sent. What's in here? It even has like a little seal. Loose. Oh, I broke the seal. All right, I gave up trying to be nice with that letter. I broke the seal. I broke the seal. Oh, wow. Someone's way too talented to be watching my content. I can say that right now. Dear Wood. Dear Wood. After watching your videos for about two months now, I decided it was finally time to write you this letter to say thank you. I love your positivity, and I always get excited like a child on Christmas whenever there's new content. <laughs> now there's like two pages. I'll read it all later. Simon! What if it was our Simon? <laughs> like somehow our cat. No, he'd never be that nice. No, he would not be that nice. We can put this on our little wall of uh, stuffed toys in the bedroom. <laughs> that worked better than I anticipated. I don't know what this is at all. It's a Switch Collector's Edition for something I've never seen before. Onikun and Odalis, I believe? I'm legitimately baffled. It's literally not every day that I see a game on Switch that I haven't seen before. Thank you so much. I will always take a Collector's Edition on Switch that I don't already have. Um, I did the classic beat-em-ups thing and didn't look for a name. Vincent! Oh, it's Vincent again. Uh, last video, Vincent sent something. This one's from Steve. I sent you all my old teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I thought tomatoes were cheap. I thought you might like to know about my local groceries, cheap tomatoes. This feels like a medallion. San Francisco. I don't know what this is. Am I, is it gonna be like anthrax inside? Oh, it's a mirror. Oh, is that how I look? I should let my head back down. <laughs> oh, this guy really likes San Fran. This is a moment in time where, where Steve was like, I sent him a Lego him too. But he actually one upped with a Lego me a Lego you and a Lego Simon and Logan. I only just found this now that I'm filming the B-roll, but there's a tiny little switch in there for me as well. That's awesome. A bunch of Pikachus on a keychain, as well as a Zelda uh, Hyrule Shield keychain. And then I think these are from the Sekiro, maybe. No, those were bigger. These might actually be real. Greetings from New Mexico. I've been wanting to send you something for a while now. I recently went on vacation from work to visit my sister who lives in the San Francisco, that's right. I went to Chinatown and saw, I knew they were real. I got you these coins there too. Steve, thank you so much, Steve. This one, I accidentally opened thinking that it might've been an Etsy thing for one of our Etsy videos, but it was just something that someone sent me from Etsy. It's a wooden eagle, a wooden hawk necklace. Eagle. I was actually gonna make the, I'm not even kidding. I was gonna make the joke. Should have been a hawk, but I didn't want to make her feel bad about sending me an eagle. I just assumed it was an eagle. Someone would be like, what's that around your neck? I can be like, well, my name's Wood Hawker. So it's a wooden hawk. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything because I got a little excited in this video. Okay, we get three more. <laughs> we get to find out what's in that already. Thanks for watching this far. If you've liked this video, you probably have Vincent to blame. Although, honestly, having Kim here has made this really fun as well. Thank you, Kim. Slap like for Kim and subscribe. You can also subscribe to Kim. We work for the same thing now. Wow, look at this note. 
Okay on camera, stuff not okay on camera. Wow, that's very funny, Jake. Probably gonna have to start reading it for it to actually make any sense. But to start with, we have N64 Zelda in Japanese and a really clean one at that too, which is awesome. We're going to Japan next month. This will save me having to buy it there. Thank you for doing what you do. I'm so glad I discovered your channel back in March of this year. The channel has given me so much entertainment, such a short period of time, it's insane. Okay, so Jakey Boy here, my new best friend, has sent me so much stuff I can read stuff I can't read but to keep things moving along I'm gonna read most of it in my own time and instead read what his friend wrote for Kim So this is from Liana. Hi, you are really cool and a talented artist. I enjoy uh, seeing you in videos with wood I'm sure she now knows about your channel too. You guys seem to work well together and that makes me happy Your style is similar to mine and I love your tattoos. We are both creative and artistic people I'm really glad you're in some videos with him Thank you so much, you guys. That's so nice. This one says, do not bend. Another long handwritten note. Oh, wow. Look at all the art. Oh my God. Done so much. I think it's all the Smash characters. This is from Colin. Thank you, Colin. I'm only 11, so I'm sorry if they're bad. Colin, they're so not bad. They're so nice. Look what he did. Ugh, is that me? What? That doesn't look like me! Oh, that's inaccurate. Unforgivable! Face of an addicted man-child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Colin. Went from my best friend to my nemesis. No, Colin, thank you so much. I love that you understand my sense of humor, too. Love you in your videos. Tell Kim I said hi. If you see me in the comment section, my name is CJ the Beast. CJ, I don't know how you're 11 and your handwriting is legitimately better than mine. Like, I'm not even, not even playing. And another do not bend. They didn't say I could have been. <laughs> it's Dragon Quest Builders. You and me and Dragon Quest Builders. It's so good. I'm shocked. That's so legitimately awesome. Hi, Wood. I found your channel some time ago. I really enjoy your videos. I especially love the way you talk and sometimes rant about video games you really like. And I had some good laughs watching a Dragon Quest Builders review. Anna, I wrote my Instagram on the back. There it is. Go check out her Instagrammies. Look, it's literally the style. I, I love it. It is Dragon Quest Builder style. You and me. I love how we've doubled everyone's workload when they do fan art now because they have to draw you two. Thank you so much, Anna. That is amazing. Uh, they might be letters. They might be fun stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, and look at that. Wow, there's so much, so much stuff I love in this video. That is from Gamma Des Black. If that's your real name, that is the coolest name I think I've ever heard. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Drum roll, please. This was the one from Uma. Look how stupid they look. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how I missed that. I told Kim that I'm like 90% sure this is gonna be like a keychain in a small box with bricks around it in a medium box. And then this is just a large box that all of that is contained in. Are you ready for the moment? If you're ready, slap like on this video and subscribe. Leave a comment down below right now with what you think could be in this. I'll wait. You done? Okay, good. First, four figurines. Oh no. What? It's a figurine? How is it a statue when it's this big? So, it is a box inside another box, so... Oh, read the side of the box or don't, because I just did. You ruined it! I wouldn't have read the side! Yeah. All right, well, it's something Zelda. Okay, if I wasn't already excited, now I'm excited, because on, like literally 90% of me assumed this was oh my a- Oh <laughs> And it's my, one of my favorite Zeldas! Oh man, I love that you're here yeah. because it's preventing me from crying. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't, I'm not, I haven't even okay. seen. I haven't even seen. Does anyone remember the title of my last video? Does anyone take me seriously anymore? Does anyone even listen to me anymore? Oh, I seen it. I was trying not to do a look at it. <laughs> I swear it's coming out. <laughs> I broke it. You broke it? No, I didn't. Okay, so it's all in pieces. So I'll get like a like a big reaction of once it's all built, but clearly, you know, I can see what it is. I at least want to take out the little link. I, I had no idea that this even existed. That legitimately is perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. I was gonna sit back down at the table and stuff, but clearly that's, I don't have room to even breathe back here. So I'm just gonna say thank you so much. Here's me assembling this thing. I'm coming in. A big moment. Here we go. Hear it. 
Here I am. Well, what did you think? I was gonna have the giant statue all made up. <laughs> it's actually right behind Kim right now. I can see it. You can. I missed these two things. We found it while we were cleaning up. So really quickly, let me guess. My dad used to do this every Christmas. Um, it's probably Yoshi slippers. <gasps> we were like, we missed <laughs> the Yoshi slippers. And then we saw this, and this is the Yoshi slippers. So thank you. His little feet. Oh, he's, he's got little feet. He's got feet. <laughs> Here, put them on your feet. But don't show your feet. That's a Patreon exclusive. Wow. <laughs> I love them. Thank you. Um, and then this is... Oh, what the heck? What is this? <gasps> what the heck? Ow! You're stupid. It's actually pretty blunt. Wow, thank you so much. From Chen. Thank you so much, Chen. I'm hoping it is... Sometimes when I get packages like this, I don't know if this is the, like, the company that sent it or what. If it's Chen, thank you. If it's not Chen, thank you instead. Alright, now is the moment. Fade to black. Wait, let's make it more epic than that. Fade to black. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> this time I'm actually coming in. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, here it is. No jokes this time. It's so cool. Ah! Gotcha. Look, it, this is the coolest thing ever. I am amazed at the quality of this. For its size, like this is actual fabric. Look at his face. Look at him. It literally looks like it's straight out of the freaking game, man. They couldn't have made this any more perfect. Um, there was no note, so I immediately messaged the person I assumed that it was, and of course, freaking Steven, man. And while he was messaging me, I also asked him if this uh, astral chain thing was from him, and he said, yeah, it must have cut off his name. So thank you for helping me figure that one out. But this, I had no idea. This, this had nothing to do with me. If anyone actually has to stop, it's you. I'm gonna see Steven in like a month's time at Retropalooza, so I guess I'm gonna give him a big old hug. This literally is amazing. Thank you so much. Just kidding. All right, people, I'm so, it's like midnight. We've been done for a while, but I realized just then that there was a tube I missed. I decided just to open it. There was a bunch of fan mail actually that I realized that I missed. Um, so I got shots of all of it, but then I opened this and it was so awesome, I just had to turn the camera back on. So this is from Seidru in Israel. These are posters that are on archived Japanese paper, so I'm trying to be really careful. I'm not actually 100% sure what that means, but it sounds fancy. And I've actually seen these prints before on Reddit. But look at that, that's a reimagining of Mario Kart, and it's signed by the artist, and a reimagining of Zelda, also signed by the artist. I'm not gonna pretend like I have any idea what words to use to describe what these actually are. I'm guessing Japanese art. All I know is they're really, really cool and I'm gonna have to put them in a frame immediately. All right, that's it. I'm really tired. Thank you so much. These are really cool. I love you guys, but I, I swear to gosh this time, please stop this. It's getting more and more insane every time. I don't have room for this stuff. I love it. I don't have room. Fan art and letters go a long way to show appreciation, and I love getting them. All right, guys, I, I, I smash like on this video, hair flip on that subscribe button. I had a lot of fun doing this, but at the same time, stop!